welcome back everyone. In this episode I'll be showing you my latest robotic lawnmower and also be comparing it to a previous version that I built a while back. Hope you enjoy. So there's my older robot mower. The cover's made out of PVC sheets. It is quite old. It still works, or I think it does at least. And you can see it's quite messy, but like I said, it works. It's got two power supplies, one's for the main motor and the computer, and this one is the cutting motor. We'll just zoom in a little bit. And there's a brushless motor for the cutter, relay switch, temperature sensor, Wi-Fi module, Arduino, touch panel and status display. So it is quite sophisticated, even though it does look simple. And these are the bump sensors. I used two Stanley blades mounted on a metal fork, which I then mounted onto the motor itself. The Stanley blades were loose to avoid breaking if they get snagged on something. So the bump sensors are supposed to ameliorate for any obstacles that it encounters along the way in its automatic mode. Overall, it worked really well. The main limitation was the carrying capacity of the uh, robot, which meant I couldn't put bigger batteries, and that put a burden on the running time for both the main motor and the cutter. But otherwise, it did serve its purpose at the time. Now the larger version was going to be stronger, have more carrying capacity, waterproof, and also enable the addition of some extra capabilities such as uh, some automatic guidance. So I decided to go with the tank drive mechanism, however offset to the rear. For this I use large high torque motors which operated on 12 volts. And here I'm just doing some testing on the wheels. So the new version is actually a lot bigger. Much bigger motors can carry high capacity batteries, better design wheels for traction. And it is designed as a pusher, so it has two front wheels. And this will be the cutting motor. Uh, direct current 12 volts with a larger cutting area. Because I have a large area to work with, I can afford to separate the blades a little bit further, therefore increasing the cutting area. So taking it apart, you get to see what the rocker switch looks like for the bumper switch, Arduino, one shield for the Wi-Fi control, main motor for the cutter, relay switch and speed control for the cutter, power supplies and the main motor. In the next video we get a demonstration of how the bumper switch works in action. An increased weight capacity means I'm going to put larger batteries, meaning it can last for longer. It is still controlled via Bluetooth via my phone, however it does have some automatic modes that I can program into it. So part two of this uh, robot will be to include some sort of an AI camera which can then automatically track the uh, grass compared to the background and then hopefully navigate by itself. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions or any comments, uh, please drop me a line. I'll uh, see you next time.